Another way to hide our texture is using a special function node called texture bombing. If you go to your material here, I'm gonna use this checker material to demonstrate this. So if I'm going in here and I'm plug it inside of my paste color, and I'm going to use our texture coordinate, the one that we use, and we plug it with a multiply and we add a scalar as a tiling. So I'm gonna go in here and then we have this plus add. And then we will have, as we said, like two for the offset. We will have a pent vector and I need to offset X. I will call it offset X. And we will have offset Y. We will both add them. Those will going to be a default value of zero. And we will add this to our UV. I'm going to apply. Going back in our map, I'm going to create material instance. And I'm going to drag it in here. So this is what we have now. So if we go to our tiling parameter, we need to rename it. If I decrease the value, we will see one tiling. And if we go all the way, we increase our tiling. Offset is basically is going to move, but we're not going to randomize our tiling. So we will see a lot of repetition. Now, what will happen if I go in here and instead of using this, we use a special node called texture. Bomb Bing. So we have bombing underscore BOM and bombing. You can use any one of them, both similar. And I'm going to put it in here. And what we see here, if we need to take our texture and we need to plug it in here, we can because this is the three vector texture. So it contains RGB channels. And in here, you need to have a texture object. What you can do is right click, convert to texture object, and now we will have it. Then we will have our UV coordinate. I'm going to unplug it and I'm going to assign UV coordinate. And I need here a scalar value for tiling. So I'm going to go put my scalar here. I'm going to call it tiling. And for the offset, I'm going to use one of them because this worked for both. I'm going to call it offset. I set the default value to be for now one. And when I apply and see now what's happened is I'm seeing randomization. So how does it work? Okay. I'm going to remove my offset and I'm going to move my oh, tiling. So return them back to its original. So if offset is zero, I can normally tile my object. But if I introduce an offset, it will introduce randomization. So the, the higher the offset, the more randomized and the more tiling is the more randomized you will get within your own texture. So this way, you can hide your tiling, especially using organic texture like grass, rock or any, any natural texture. What we can also use is we here, if you go back in here, we can use also a height map. So a black or white image. So I'm, for this, I'm going to use this height map and I'm going to introduce it in here, but need to be texture object. And to apply it, you need to enable it. This here said static pool. So I need static pool. And I'm going to switch it on. Now what's happened, if I go back, I will see a variation with a height layer. So we will have this cosine blend here. And you see the variation is blending in between both of them. So the height map, and we can say which channel of them, if each one of them has different 
um, information but now we using this height map we introduce more variation how we can apply it within our texture now we can with the use of our distance blend we can vary our grass so i'm gonna back in here to my texture i'm gonna back to my mannequin and what we are going to do is going to our distance blend so we are blending in here and instead of lerping between two texture coordinate i'm gonna do what i'm going to do is i'm gonna remove those i'm gonna right click and i'm going to use texture bombing copy duplicate twice one both of them will contain the same texture but uh, but each one of them will contain different tiling so i'm gonna go and offset so i'm gonna go in here and i'm going to use two scalar parameter so i'm gonna go tiling or tiling far and i'm going to duplicate it rename it and put the value to be zero offset far in here i want to be one now put it in here i'm gonna duplicate both of them and I'm gonna make tiling in here, offset in here, and rename it to be tiling near. And offset near. Yeah. So in general, you want also the offset to be the same. So you can use one offset for both of them. Okay, let's use one offset for both of them, sorry. And different in the tiling. So I'm going to go and make it one offset. Oh, removed it. I'm going to call it offset. Everything else, we don't need it. We can leave our texture coordinate. So texture coordinate in here and texture coordinate in here. Those we don't need it anymore. And now from here we can layer in between them. I'm going in here and going in here. And now if I go apply it, so going back to our distance blend material instance, we will have the blend range, but in our tiling, we will have, as we said, like tiling near going to be 0 0.4, tiling far 0 0.05. But if we now introduce an offset, now we see randomization in our landscape. Okay, the higher can be and the tiling, it's all get randomized in between. So using both of them will help maintain or will help um, decrease the amount of tiling and repetition inside of our landscape material.